I think the main thing for us to move forward is to get the cost of offshoring down to a level where society can afford it when you take into account the benefits on when it, that offshore creates with jobs, etc. And to do that, we need to expand our scope of innovation much further from just the turbine as it is now to the whole infrastructure and the whole operation and maintenance side of the affair. That's what it takes to make it a global energy source. It will simply not happen if we do not have technology innovation and we need to use the uh, ability of innovation that the wind industry has demonstrated on the turbines themselves to those part of the infrastructure that until now have mainly been driven as one-offs or single piece elements and do not yet have an industrial, truly industrial element. We simply need to make the rest of the value chain industrial in the same way as the wind turbines are. There's no way in the world that one single player can do the necessary innovation on the infrastructure. It takes a cross-sector collaboration to get there. In my opinion, truly essential that the parties involved, which means those that have the industrial capabilities, the wind turbine manufacturers, and those who need infrastructure established, the developers, the infrastructure companies and so on, they need to cooperate. There's not one single player that can do it all. So it, it is truly essential that we collaborate both on the uh, infrastructure manufacturing side, but also on the customer side in order to get this thing lifted from a concept stage and into a real life implementation level. China is going to have a boom the next few years due to a new feed-in tariff that will terminate at the end of 16. Germany is going to develop its offshore, but probably at a slower pace than was believed some years ago. Japan will most likely be mainly floating concepts, and therefore by the, by the nature of the early stage of floaters, there will be some time delay in that. So I think that for quite some years to come, the UK will retain its true leadership on offshore wind. And it has done that leadership, carried that leadership role extremely well, I have to say. I think actually the way we are going to get there is to do in a broader scope what we have been doing in the wind industry so successfully for the first 35 years of this industry's life. We have reduced the cost of energy by 5% every year mainly through innovation on the turbine. If we can apply the same competences and the same methodologies to the whole value chain, I'm totally confident that we can get there.